Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's the boy Shingi as Yuji. You already know what it is. Today I have a very, very interesting topic. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how to improve your lighting, um, which is something very, very interesting. And today I'm gonna share pretty much my secrets in terms of like how I've been able to sort of learn how to uh, light my images and sort of just um, have a good idea of how lighting works. So with that being said, tip number one on how to improve your lighting is um, I use movies. I know, it sounds kind of crazy, but I use movies. I pretty much take screenshots of movies that I really like. And let's say, for example, uh, there's a specific scene that you like. Uh, you just take a screenshot of that scene, go in your Photoshop and start drawing around it and trying to figure that out. So a really good movie that I like using is Malcolm and Marie. Very, very beautiful, beautiful movie. Uh, this is how I kind of gone to use Malcolm and Marie. So I ended up just taking screenshots of it because it has really, really beautiful creative lighting. And by taking the screenshots, I was able to go onto Photoshop using my Wacom tablet and sort of start trying to understand the lighting. So. Um, the red pretty much showcases where the light will be placed and where the subject is over here and how the light is hitting. So over here I can kind of tell the lighting, the light is hitting this way, although it could be also quite big and it could also be over here because there is lighting at the bottom over here. But for the most part it is a little bit of an overhead light, just not too overhead because you can see over here it's a little bit subtle on the top here and the light is pretty much like on an angle this way which is very very beautiful i like this type of lighting and i like this how the how much mood this kind of gives over here really really beautiful like i said this movie is a really good um it's a really good way i have multiple scenes over here as well that sort of showcase um how lighting sort of is so this is how you could use movies to sort of enhance your idea of lighting and i found that like when i get to see how this creative lighting is um, i'm able to sort of play around with my own lighting a bit more because um it sort of makes it more doable because i find that the mind kind of works in a way that whatever it's not aware of is not what it's going to do but sort of exposing yourself to certain different lighting from movies and other creatives that have really creative lighting is a really good way to sort of have your brain register a certain type of lighting and um, techniques to sort of light your scenes and this will also help with natural lighting especially especially natural lighting but for any people that love creative creating scenes and um creative direction type uh scenes like this like for movies this is a really really good way so like again this one kind of shows you that there was a light over here the main light was coming over from over here and you can tell over here as well it's kind of dark so over here there isn't much of the lighting because they wanted to create some mood from this side as well as from the top overhead light so you get you kind of get to see that and it also really helps again right to kind of show you how dramatic this uh scene is as well as you can also see the other lighting over here which is kind of subtle and i'm pretty sure that was on purpose to make that subtle so that uh this scene is not too overpowered by that light which is really really creative but like i said guys uh, movies are a really good way but with that being said that's going to tie me into my second tip i think i only have two tips for now but uh second tip is shoot black and white so um as you guys can see this movie is in black and white so this makes it a lot easier black and white movies are so much simpler to learn from you get to see the highlights and the shadows a lot more easy a lot easier a lot more easy there comes the african out of me eh? <laughs> whenever you're shooting uh black and white it makes it a lot easier for you to tell where the highlights are hitting as well as where the shadows are hitting so when you're shooting black and white this is a little bit more of a trial and error process um but it's a lot easier for you to determine after the shot and for you to learn as well um to be like oh maybe i could have done this lighting a lot better but remember uh, your mind kind of registers 
just how um, your process of shooting is. So if you make a mental note of, uh, okay, I need to sort of improve on this part of my photography or this part of my lighting, your mind will generally pick up on those things while you're on, on set and while you're actually applying. So shooting black and white is very, very good. It is a little bit of a trial and error process, but for me, it's really, really helped a ton. Um, like I said, it's, it's so good at differentiating highlights and shadows, right? And once you start also acquiring a black and white eye, when you go on set, you, it'll be a lot easier for you to identify those highlights just by visually looking. Uh, color sort of like, you start seeing more color and you start seeing more of the whole entire scene. But when you're shooting black and white, you only not only see the whole entire scene, you also are able to see how the light is hitting the subject. So it becomes a kind of washed out when you're just shooting color. It kind of becomes more like a, like a flatness to your visual eye. But whenever you're shooting black and white, you actually look at contrast and shadow detail because your eye is sort of learning to adjust to seeing just uh, the shadows and highlights because you've been shooting a ton of black and white. So those are some really big tips. Um, I know they might seem kind of small, but just give them a shot in terms of applying them, especially shooting black and white. Out of all of this, I'll say shooting black and white is very, very, very important um, above all really um, shoot a couple black and white let's say you're having a, 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 uh, a shoot uh, sh sh bring a roll of black and white shoot and then you kind of see how you could improve your lighting um, yes color also helps with learning but again you could kind of it's kind of hard to identify this as easy as you would with black and white right black and white is so much easier to kind of tell you where the highlights is but just visually looking the light was hitting over here and here there's that shadow detail over here but magazines are also a fantastic way to sort of learn from right uh, look at this beautiful dramatic lighting very very beautiful um this would have come out so harsh in black and white but it also would still would have made uh, a lot of sense in terms of the image but i would have taken this in color as well as what this person what this person pretty much did shooting it in color because it's a beautiful beautiful scene in color so i found that deep shadows a uh, deep contrast looks really beautiful on color film but sometimes it doesn't look so great on black and white because the difference between highlights and shadows is so 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 big but with that being said guys um i got a big cloud over me right now so the video is gonna get super dark let's try to adjust this real quick but yeah guys those are my tips i know they're not too crazy they're not too like wow but uh they've helped me quite a lot and um if they have helped you uh please comment down below and if you guys have any other tips for me to sort of improve on my lighting comment down below as well i'd love to hear from you guys and if you guys want some more videos from me also comment down below um in terms of whatever i might be doing that you might be curious with uh and what else um yeah give the channel a big subscribe it really helps guys we're growing quite a lot and i'm really really grateful for everybody that is subscribing and liking the videos i appreciate you guys so so much uh more videos coming i'm going to be making more videos more frequently and guys i'm working on a magazine now um it's going to drop fall slash winter it's going to be called fash uh I'm forgetting. It's gonna be called Fashion and Faces. Um, it's gonna be pretty much all my greatest work uh, combined and a ton of new projects also are gonna be combined in there. And I'm really, really excited. And also for everybody that wanted a call sheet, um, I'm also going to be dropping a call sheet. I think I might sell it for like five bucks or something. Um, I'm not quite sure or I might drop it for free. I'm not sure. But with that being said, uh, thank you guys again for following me and for uh, following my journey and for subscribing to everybody that subscribed. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. And um, follow me on Instagram at shopbyshingy and uh, check out my website at www.shopbyshingy.com. I love you guys and appreciate you, bye.